Now I'm getting the three quarter inch um, altering uh, ready for a run. Um, I'm going to do all the oiling up and then basically all it will need is um, water and gas and we will fire her. And I've looked up how to do it and I now know, leave that in the middle, I've locked it off to running on neutral. And this will need quite some running in because I found out why the safety valve wouldn't undo. When it was pre-tested, probably wherever, um, they used ordinary water, hard water, and it had actually corroded the uh, safety valve very slightly. So it's been oiled overnight and it's now a lot better. It will get better with use. Um, but every time I leave it now, I will put a smear of oil on it. Just a very slight smear just to stop any more corrosion. Because you won't believe how destructive um, hard tap water is. So let's get oil in. I'm going to put a little bit in the... Hopefully in the... It's hard to get to it. <laughs> Use a paintbrush. Yeah, we've got some oil in to the base of the piston slide. That's good. We can always add more. I need to get some a small bottle of engine oil because I've got a proper little oiler. Um, let's see what else moves. This all moves, so you just put little drops of oil anywhere where you think it might move. Then we'll move around to the back of the engine. There's a little dot on top of the, or is that a screw? But anywhere where you can think it's gonna move or need oil in, just add oil. As this is a first run, I don't mind it being a bit messy. Um, I'm gonna take the, there's a pin holder for this. And there we go, we've got oil everywhere, nice. And let's lock it in, in neutral. Um, I think we've pretty well got everything. Um, but I'm going to let it soak for a while before I do the rest of it. I think when you do the slide, it's probably easier to do it this side. Because you've got more room to get into the piston. Now we've got to do the oil. Because this is compound steam oil. This is uh, completely different. This is the compound steam oil I brought with it. And it is super thick. That didn't want to go into the syringe at all. And now you've got to put it in and fill it. And they recommend filling, pushing it both directions till it's full. There we go. Having one of these does make it a lot simpler. The oil, oiling's all done, and like I said, just got to add, just got to add water and gas, and we'll be able to fire her. Now, first things first, let's start with the gas.
I don't know how big this tank is. It looks large. That is full. Now we'll add the water. I've never worked with this sort of sight gauge, it's a glass one. I don't know if you can see it, I'll zoom in a bit. But it's that little bit of glass there. Nothing shown yet on the site. But then I don't know how big this boiler is. Oh, we're starting to show. We're halfway. We'll just put a little bit more in. So it's near the top, but not completely. Well, actually, that's too. Uh, oh, there's a bubble. I thought I'd overfilled it for a minute. There we go, safety valve in, and now we light it.
think we're blowing off some excess water at the moment. Blowing. But it does run beautifully, doesn't it? I'm going to hold it, try and hold it around 25 at this speed. So I think you can put a little bit less water in the mod I did to about a quarter of an inch below the top because it does expand water. I think where I had it, it was at an angle it overfilled because it's like to the top at the moment. Now maintain around 50 psi. It's going to take a while to learn the sweet spot, spot on that burner because it's hardly turned on at all at the moment, and it's very close to being on and cutting out.
Uh-huh.